Okay, we have this word problem right here. If you need some time to write this down, you can just go ahead and pause the video now. Okay, otherwise I'm going to go ahead and solve this for you. For problems like this, it says that the word linear in there, linear function, that means that I need to come up with some equation that's written in the y equals mx plus b form. So it's telling me that a new machine, I, the machine's brand new, 120,000, and then after 10 years it's only worth 4,000. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up with a list of two points here on that one. And so the first one, if the machine's new, that means that at zero years, the machine's worth 120000 So that's the first one, zero, 120000 The second one is after 10 years, the machine's only worth 4000 so I have these set of points that I'm going to use. Now the reason why I want to come up with two points is because I'm going to put it into the slope formula and I want to find the slope of this because linear functions again are going to have a slope. So to do that you take the difference in the y's over the difference in the x's. On top I'm going to do 120,000 minus 4,000. So I take the difference in the, the y's. I'm going to do the difference in the x's. Now however way you subtract these two, you want to make sure you subtract these in the same order. So if I do this minus this, I also want to do 0 minus 10. So 0 minus 10 is going to be on the bottom. I'm going to simplify this. Okay, so I get uh, on top 116,000. I'm dividing that by negative 10. There's a negative down here because of this. And that's going to take away one of my zeros. And I get, as a result, negative 11,600. So what does that actually mean? The meaning of this is that every year on average this is losing negative 11,600. So we should expect to have a negative for our slope because we're talking about something that is losing value over time. So that's going to be your slope right there. Now what is going to be the, the y-intercept we need to find? Well actually the y-intercept was already given to us originally. The uh, it says at zero, whenever you have a, the x value is zero, that's going to be your y-intercept. So when I, so now I have negative 11,600 for my m, and I have this for my y-intercept. All I have to do now is just write the actual equation for it. My answer is just going to be this equation. So I'm going to write it out as v of t, because that's what it's asking us to do. Linear function has to be called v. The variable on the inside, instead of using x, I'm going to use t. That represents the number of years. So this is like your t, and this is going to be your uh, v. That's going to be negative 11,600 t. Put t in there instead of an x, and then I have plus 120,000. That would be your y-intercept. So this right here that I'm circling, that's going to be the answer to the whole problem. All they're looking for is the actual equation, the function itself. So it's going to be this right here that describes the data. Uh, this right here, you don't have to do anything with this with your formula. All that's telling you is that this particular formula we came up with only works if my value is between 0 and 10. If I put values in more than 10, then what happens is I start getting negative values and the machine's worth a negative amount. So it's saying that if, as long as my t is between 0 and 10, that means I'll get a positive amount for the value of this, my v of t.